Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for coming. Um, and welcome. Welcome to our fourth Cambridge Africa Day uh, on the occasion of our 10th birthday, more or, more or less. Uh, I just want to say a few words about why, why we are here and why we exist. And it's really because we all know that Sub-Saharan Africa is making really massive economic and civil pro, uh, progress over the last 10 or 20 years. But it's also quite clear that to accelerate that program of progress, that Sub-Saharan Africa needs millions of brilliant young African researchers to be trained and mentored to analyze and to provide African solutions for the problems and challenges that still face many parts of Africa, and to provide leadership in all aspects of society. And that training and mentorship provision on that scale is a massive challenge, and it has the potential to slow Africa's progress. So the Cambridge Africa program for mentorship and training of African researchers and partnering African research institutes had its beginnings in 2008 when it was invited to become a, one of the two UK partners for in MUI. Uh, and MUI was a Wellcome Trust funded strategic initiative to provide su support for infection and immunity training in Uganda and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine was the other UK partner. The following year, we, we also partnered Thrive, an African led by Nelson Serenkambu, uh, again, Wellcome Trust funded institutional strengthening initiative for biomedical research training networks in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and Rwanda. And both these highly successful programs are still operating today and we're still proud to be partners there, but now they're DELTAS programs funded by uh, AISA for the African Academy of Sciences. And we're pleased that uh, Professor Alison Elliott, who's the founder of, and director of MUI, is here today to talk later. And Dr. Tom Kariuki is here, uh, who's the director of ESA, which is becoming a really significant and important vehicle for funding African research and African academic progress. Uh, it became quite clear in those early days that Cambridge did have the resources. It was kind of resource rich uh, in, in the sorts of things, the mentorship, etc., and the expertise that could really help accelerate African progress. Uh, and it was able to do that by making its international expertise and facilities available to meet the needs identified by African researchers and African partners. And Africa Cambridge became uh, an umbrella organization to co coordinate Cambridge's resources and expertise to do this support and mentorship at now across all subject areas. And it did this by additional fund, a range of initiatives funded by the Carnegie Corporation of New York, Alborado Trust, the Cambridge Trust, the Isaac Newton Trust, and by the university itself. And we have, really, I just want to mention two or three key models that we have. And the first was building on the models of MUI and Thrive to provide carefully matched mentorship and support for African PhDs in African home universities and postdoctoral career development in African institutions, but with exchanges and mentorship also additionally coming from Cambridge. And this is a model we still think is one of the best that we participate in, and it's been extended into different subject ranges by the Caprex Trust funded by Carnegie. And the other thing we're particularly proud of is the seed corn awards, which we've been able to make for these seed new partnerships between any Cambridge researcher and any African, sub-Saharan African researcher in any field uh, to make, to, to make, initiate lo new long-term partnerships. And they've been able to give out up to 20,000 pounds each and in the first five years of the Alborado uh, Cambridge uh, Africa Research Fund, we've 
been able to give out nearly 150 of those uh, for new partnerships with uh, 18 different sub-Saharan countries. And many of those partnerships have gone on to gain major international competitive funding to carry on those relationships. But we're also really proud of the Cambridge Africa Scholarships, which are funded by Cambridge Strategic uh, Fund and the, uh, the Welcome and the, and the Cambridge Trust. And these are to fund Cambridge PhDs. But the difference is they're focused on outstanding young African researchers who are carrying out projects in Africa and are totally committed to solving Africa's challenges and supporting Africa on challenges they've identified themselves. So keeping the link with Africa and not contributing to brain drain. So today, 10 years on, we want to celebrate the massive progress that African academic research has made. And we're very grateful for the well, to the Wellcome Trust for giving us some, a bit of extra funding so many of our African colleagues can be here today. And they'll be able to share with you their research and their vision of the future. And Cambridge Africa's commitment is to support African researchers. But make no mistake about it, this relationship has benefited our university, it's benefited our researchers, and it's benefiting our, our undergraduate students who gain immeasurably from their interactions with African colleagues. And of course, the world is benefiting now from, from Africa's contributions to the sum of human knowledge. So no doubt in 10 years' time, Africa's progress will seen, be seen to be even more astonishing. And I hope that if needed and if requested, and with your help, Cambridge Africa will still be able to make a contribution to supporting Africa's progress. So that's all I've got to say. Please enjoy the day. And thank you all very much indeed for coming along. Thank you.